Today's video is going to be something that's never been requested on my what? Where'd that come from? What? What is going? What? All right. Today's video is going to be about the Saurian. How to build him? And did you know he has a hidden secret passive? If you like all my videos and content, hit the sub button, hit the like button, hit that bell, dingy dingy thing, so you know when I post a video. Let's go, baby. Tip of the day. There's many reasons why Tessarian's good. He's got a defense down. He's got oblivion on every single basic attack and skill. But did you know that Tessarian has a hidden passive? Nobody knows about this. Super secret. All right, technically it's clickbait. <laughs> it's not a hidden passive, it's a burn. Tessarian has burn. And no, I'm not talking about his skills doing more damage based off the burn level. I'm literally talking about burn. Burn is a damage over time, yes. But another thing burn does, it is slightly increases crit damage taken. So everybody in the party and the raid will do more crit damage when there is a burn on the enemy. It's not a huge bonus, however, more damage is more damage. The more you know. Alright, so Getsuga requested a Tessarian video multiple, multiple times. So I'm going to test him out in the training area and see what the best build for him is. Is it high attack speed? Is it high attack? Is it high crit damage because of the modifiers from his skills? And his hidden passive? Or is it a balance of all the three? Let's get to work. So I'm going to try something new. I'm going to see what his total DPS is damage per second over a two minute course. I'm obviously not going to show it for time purposes, but I'm going to show you what the end of the rune build is at two minutes. All right, this first build is going to be strictly balanced build. Rage Blade, 3,700 attack, not very high. 165 attack speed, average. 189% crit damage, average. We well, kind of want attack speed for his basic attack, applying burns. The faster he attacks, the more chances he gets to apply burn. So what I'm going to do is use Orbia, Wind, Defense, Break, and Damage Taken Up. I'm also using King for the crit damage taken debuff and Megan for the attack buff and attack speed. We're also going to determine what skill is better for Soul Link to Saurian, and then we'll try him on non Soul Link as well. But we're going to start him on his first skill, and I'm going to start the two minute timer now. His basic attack only has a 6% chance to proc that burn, so it really is situational. But with burns, he will do more damage. And his skills will do more damage too, because of that hidden passive. And we're at the one minute mark, and the burst DPS that I've seen so far is 40,000. That's the highest I've seen it. There we go, 44,000. That's with a lot of debuffs. We're at 30 seconds left, and yeah, it's around 43, 45,000 right now. Four procs, five procs of burn, which is increasing his DPS, so obviously... You need burns for Tessarian to be better. Three seconds, two seconds, one seconds, and I'll stop right there. So 45,000 DPS was the highest that I've seen, and he did about 4.7 million damage in two minutes. Now we'll test again two minutes using his second skill only. This will obviously give us more burn level, but because we're not using his first skill, it's going to be less defense break. And seeing as his second skill is 4 mana cost, not 3, it's going to be less skills from this. But the DPS is actually still about there. It actually just hit 49,000. So using his second skill, in my opinion, you got to have the right team composition. The burst is definitely smaller, but for PvE purposes, damage DPS per second, 3, 2, 1, and stop. It's definitely RNG, and I wish I could actually apply debuffs to the boss just manually. Maybe a little drop down to the top right, being able to apply debuffs permanently at different levels. Training area still needs a lot of work, but in a two minute mark, he did one million less damage. This is why I don't like using the DPS comment that someone actually commented on one of my videos about that, because he's technically right. The DPS chart would actually be better than the total chart. However, it doesn't show the overall DPS of the whole time period of damaging an enemy. 
It's only what it is currently. That's why I mainly go off total. Okay, now, what I'm gonna do is test Tessarian on two minutes off of Soul Link. This will let Tessarian use both skills, and using Megan with the attack buff and attack speed up will give him more attack speed. So again, let's try it again. Three, two, one, and go. Now, what I'm thinking with Tessarian is that he is going to be better on a more attack speed build. And that's because I think he is better on Soul Link on his first skill, his defense break. It's a level two defense break. Yeah, just having one defense break level on the enemy is very beneficial. But if you can stack that up to 10, it's gonna be insane. All right, we're at the one minute mark. The highest DPS I've seen is 39,000. But mainly I'm working with training area for what I have and what can get. DPS just went up to 45,000, but it mainly has to deal with the RNG of debuffs. All right, so the DPS was roughly around 40 to 45,000 at its peak, and his overall damage in two minutes was 3.9 million, which was more than just using his second skill on Soul Link. So overall on this balanced build, Soul Link first skill does the most damage. Now what we're going to try is a very high attack speed build with a little bit more attack, but lower crit damage. 243 attack speed, 4081 attack, and only 125% crit damage. This is on Swift Blade. We will start him again on Soul Link using his first skill only. Look at Tassari and go pew pew pew. All right, so we're looking at a little bit higher DPS already from what I can tell in the first 30 seconds. This is at a consistent level. Like I said, it's only current DPS is what it's checking. It's not checking through a time limit. But we're at 55, 56, 60,000 DPS damage per second. But we're staying around the 60,000 mark. We're getting high defense break debuffs because of his first skill and Orbia. We're getting more consistent burn on his basic attack as well. But I mean, it looks like on average, we're roughly around 57,000 to 62,000. But we just hit 67,000 on Tassarian on this build. 70,000, it just hit 70,000. We got 10 seconds left. And what is going to happen in this last 10 seconds? I don't know. Can we beat 70,000? 172,000. All right, so this build is way better than the first. I think the main culprit is how much damage he actually did over two minutes. We're looking at 6.2 million damage. Now we're testing his second skill on Soul Link. Three, two, one, go. So this is going to be less defense breaks, more burn levels because of his second skill. We're going to see how much DPS he's going to put out. Giggity goo. We got four levels of burn. We got up to 74,000. So if we have reliable debuffs, this might be the way to go. But it's all about team composition, right? And what your other summoners are bringing, the debuffs that are going to be in the raid. Two seconds, one second, and done. Only 4.5 million. I think the first skill being three mana costs and applying defense break is huge. But having higher attack speed to apply burns more frequently is better. Last but not least, Tassarian off Soul Link on this high attack speed build. So with him being off of Soul Link, he's going to be applying more defense break to the boss with Orbia, also applying burn on his second skill, but having that high attack speed, increasing his DPS damage per second. He's at 56, 57,000 right now, and really, well, 63,000, and really it just depends if, if he can keep that. 79,000. So we just gotta see how much total damage he did in two minutes, and we are at 5.5 million. So far, in conclusion, Tassarian is much better on an attack speed build and just soul link for skill. That three mana cost skill, that high attack speed build for burn application. This is on a low crit damage build. So what we need to test is a high crit damage build with some attack speed. But first, on this same high attack speed, high attack build, I want to use his first skill, but since he's applying defense break, I'm going to use Orbia for burn to see if I can keep that level 10 burn up. So we're getting high defense breaks already level 9. That's just with Tassarian. 
and we're getting higher burn levels because of fire orbia applying burns and increasing burn duration. Also, what I just realized is I can find out my own DPS without having to need it in game because I'm stupid. There's 120 seconds in two minutes. But anyway, 6.2 million divided by 120 seconds is 51.6 thousand DPS. The total damage he did in two minutes is 6.2 million again. So it is the same. That's also probably because they didn't get the damage taken up debuff from Orbia's wind skill. So again, the variables are hard to do in this current training area. But for sure, in conclusion, right now, Tessarian first skill on Soul Link with a high attack speed build is the way to go. All right, so now let's test a higher crit damage build with decent amount of attack speed, but lower attack. Is the burn modifiers on his two skills more beneficial with crit damage or with attack? This is the best I could do right now, 3,400 attack and 216% crit damage. Free to play life. I'm going to try it on Wind Orbia, and I'm also going to try it on Fire Orbia as well. But we're looking at roughly 55, 50,000 DPS from Thessarian. With the ultimate, his burst goes up to 80,000, so that crit damage is probably helping a bunch. But really, it's just going to determine how much total damage he does in 120 seconds. And if it beats 51.6 thousand when I calculate it after, only 5.3 million in two minutes. That's only 44.1 thousand DPS on average. I'm going to switch to Fire Orbia to extend the burn durations and get more burns up there for Tessarian on this higher crit damage build. All right, so first skill with Orbia, 4.9 million in two minutes, 40.8 thousand DPS. So with this testing in conclusion for PvE environment, but in my opinion, prioritizing attack and attack speed is much more beneficial for Tessarian. So if you can get some stats like these, but then also increase the crit damage, he's going to do more damage for you. But as you saw, the attack speed and the attack is much more beneficial than having higher crit damage. Now I say PvE environment. Because in PvP, you're not about DPS. You're about burst, the highest damage you can do. Because you want to kill the enemy as quick as possible before any heals go off. It's different variables in PvP. I would still suggest doing an attack speed, high attack build for Tessarian in PvP. Because you want that chance of Oblivion getting on the enemy. And when his skills are off of cooldown, all he is doing is basic attacking. But in PvP, you want to make sure that you got some HP on him so he doesn't get too shot by an Orbia. That's it for today's video. Get Suna, I'm sorry it took almost two weeks to get this video out to you. But anyone else who benefits from this video, you can thank our boy Gasuna. If you like all my videos and content, sub, like, ding ding bell. I'll see you in the next one. Peace!